Okay, uh, let's discuss uh, something else about functions that is about the concept of optional parameters. So uh, when we work with uh, JavaScript, uh, you might have seen that, you know, function polymorphism is achieved uh, using uh, an interesting way uh, which is we create a function uh, and let's say it has two variables a uh, which is of type number and b which is uh, of type number and uh, you know uh, what this function does is that if i provide two variables let's say i want to you know do this console.log uh, area rect uh, uh, 10 cross 12 uh, and uh, i print uh, area I know, 10 comma uh, 12 uh, if I want to uh, do something is that I want to have the same function that can also print the uh, area of a square for example so area uh, square uh, uh, of uh, uh, you know side 4 uh, equal to and I just want to do area you know uh, uh, four okay so now if i want uh, this area function to be polymorphic in nature as in it can take both two variables as well as one variable uh, and in javascript essentially uh, you can actually do that uh, by just simply uh, doing it in this way that you know if uh, uh, if type of uh, b uh, if you know, not uh, if type of b is uh, undefined uh, in that case you return a star a uh, okay else uh, you uh, return a star b something like this i'm just saying okay now uh, let's let's try to run this and see uh, what uh, you know uh, output we get out of it uh, so if i run that uh, that that's that's actually perfectly correct uh, right uh, but uh, you know in typescript we still have this error because we can't uh, call this function with uh, just uh, you know uh, one variable the error that we get is uh, essentially this that uh, expected two arguments but got one so how do you make this second argument optional uh, you do that by uh, writing b not equal to number like this so if you make this data type optional like this uh, you know uh, there are two ways of doing it either you can do number or undefined uh, oh sorry uh, number or i think number or void i think we can do yeah so we can do number or void which means that b is either number or b is not present so in that case, I can call area with a uh, fold like this, um, or there is an easier way of doing it is putting a question mark here. So um, this way I'm just uh, saying is that, uh, you know, uh, the uh, area of the, uh, the area function takes A uh, as a parameter, that's number B, uh, which is an optional parameter. Of course, when we use optional parameters, one thing to keep in mind is that my first parameter cannot be optional and the second one cannot be compulsory. Okay, so there's an error around that required parameter cannot follow an optional parameter, which makes sense because you know uh, when you call a function, the parameter that you pass is the first one. Uh, your first one cannot be optional and the second one cannot be compulsory because uh, if you pass even just one parameter, that's going to be the first one. If you pass two uh, optionally, then you are passing the first and the second parameter both. Okay, so uh, you know you can do this, uh, of course. Okay, and uh, finally, I think uh, something uh, that is like an easier way of writing this down is also uh, you can write this as well. Uh, okay, um, so if you write like this, B is number A. Uh, that is also actually allowed. Uh, so in that case, what you can do is we can simply write you know uh, return uh, A star B. Just for this particular case, what we can do is like you know we can set b to a default value as well so if uh, the second parameter uh, has a default uh, value in that case also we are allowed to call this function uh, without a second argument or as we have seen is the earlier case is that you know if this uh, you know uh, parameter is optional then also we can call it without a second argument so these are the two options uh, that you have for dealing with uh, polymorphic functions with optional uh, parameters on them